episode of The Daily Blend. I'm your host, AC, and we are joined in studio today by, okay, hold on, David Clitheroe, Relationship Development Officer at Hawthorne Bank, Michelle Spry, owner of Midway Mercantile, and... Andy Graybow, <laughs> the CEO of the Heart of Missouri United Way. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Glad, Good morning. glad to be here. And happy to have you. And we're always happy to talk about the Hawthorne Makers Market. Well, thank you. Tell us what's going on. Well, we have our fourth fall Makers Market on Saturday, September the 7th. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be an, another great event. It's in the parking lot of our Club Village branch, which is in the southern part of Columbia. Mm-hmm. Uh, from 9 to noon, uh, we've got... Right at the moment, with 25 plus vendors registered. Okay. And we're going to have a shred truck for people that have documents that confidential documents that they want to have uh, disposed of. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we're going to have our second tech recycle event. Oh. Which was a big deal last year. Uh huh. So we're here to talk about those. And I brought some friends with me. Yes. Uh, we have Michelle, as you mentioned. She mm-hmm. is really the inspiration behind our makers market really? because she is a maker. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have her talk about that briefly. And then we did run into Andrew out in the hallway. Uh huh. And because we're going to raise money for United Way. When people bring in their shred or their tech, we're just going to ask them to make a contribution if they if they want. Sure. Uh, last year, we raised upwards of $400 from just people giving us 10s and 20s. That's awesome. Uh, just because they appreciate the, the shred truck and, mm-hmm. the, and the recycle opportunity. So I'm going to turn it over to Michelle, if you don't Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Michelle, you're the inspiration for the Maker's Market. I didn't know that. Well, so I serve on the bank. Uh-huh. Um, at the bank board at Hawthorne, and I had brought the idea to the to the board meeting and said, you know, we have they have such a business connection with small or a connection with small businesses mm-hmm. in the market, right? Mm-hmm. And so, what about your makers and your artisans and crafters? Yeah, there there might be people that are just getting started in their journey. There may be people that aren't necessarily well known, mm-hmm. and this would be a great opportunity to give them a little bit of light. Yeah, um, and not not break the bank. Mm-hmm. Um, that instead might actually turn them into a customer of Hawthorne Bank. Yeah, and so they kind of took the idea. I think we had ten or eleven. Mm-hmm. Vendors the very first year. Mm-hmm. That was exciting. Yes. And people were actually excited to be there. And then now to see it grow to almost 40, yeah. 35, 40 vendors has been completely incredible. Um, and you've met so many people along mm-hmm. the way. And that now some of these vendors that just were getting their start then now have... I, they've kind of blossomed. It's yeah. kind of fun to see some of the new stuff they're doing and the it people is. they've met and see them at other shows. Um, and so it's exciting. It's yeah. really exciting. It really is. It really is nice. It really yeah. is nice. I, I go quite often as much as I can get out there. And it's always nice to just see all the different vendors and what they offer. Everything's so unique. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody has such a unique product mm-hmm. or service. And so it's really nice that you guys do that for makers because I know makers are always looking for a space. Mm-hmm. To get in front of the public. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it's really nice that you bring that. Well, and we do it for free. You don't. Yeah. You do not have to be a customer, as Michelle mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, we think it's important as a bank that supports small business that we do this yeah. uh, to help small businesses get started. Mm-hmm. And, and they're very appreciative of that mm-hmm. opportunity. So yeah. Yeah. I would say so. That's I part of our DNA. So. As I a like bank. it. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's obvious. Yes. Thank it you. It is obvious for sure. And Andy. Okay. How are you I'm over doing there? great. <laughs> Good. Tell us a little bit about United Way's part in this. Sure. Well, Hawthorne Bank is a wonderful United Way partner, mm-hmm. not only as a pace setter, which is a group of early companies that run early campaigns, mm-hmm. but you know, Hawthorne Bank is a great supporter of local nonprofits in general. Yeah. And so with this opportunity to partner with them on the Shred Fest, it's just another point for us to continue that partnership. Um, United Way serves local organizations. of our funding and revenue comes from local support. Mm -hmm. So when David mentioned the, you know, 20s and uh, small contributions, those add up to making real change in the community. Yeah. So I'm proud that we can partner with them in this. Yeah. This seems like, I mean, Andrew, I know you have this new thing coming up with these big water bottles, these five-gallon jugs. Seems like a great time to have a five-gallon jug out there. We might have one. You know, Mm -hmm. because kids love, like, your kids can bring their change mm-hmm. and put it in there. So I just gave you an idea. Yes, you <laughs> did. <Just bring laughs> You're always out. giving me ideas. Hey, yeah. you can Thank bring you. a 10 yeah. or a 20 or a 50 or a 100, but also your change. Yeah, that's exactly right. Also your change. I like it. Okay, so just real quick, because I know people like me who have papers galore mm-hmm. to shred, I could just bring those in a big box. Right. 
Okay. We, we only ask that if it's got large binder clips, that you remove those. Okay. So it can go through the shredder without tearing things up. Yes. But we don't really put a limit on the amount. Okay. We've had people bring trunk loads uh, full of papers. Mm -hmm. And then on the tech recycle. Yeah. So it's either a, a laptop, a tablet, an old iPhone, mm -hmm. uh, some desktop mm -hmm. computers, a uh, mice, uh, uh, phones, regular mm -hmm. office phones. Mm -hmm. They can all be taken. We work with a nonprofit called PCs for People. They will take these and, and those that they can refurbish. They will refurbish oh. and make those available to people that can't afford those types of uh, items, and then they recycle what, what can't be used. Yeah, that's really nice, because a lot of times if people are like me, when something stops working, I just put it over <laughs> in the corner or something. I probably have like 35 old cell phones, like from way back in the Nokia days. You remember those? Oh yeah. Am I dating myself? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a, little bit a little bit I am. But it's nice to have a place now right. where I can come and I know that what can go be used will be used or refurbished and then everything else will be recycled. Right. So very nice. Come join us. I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> I will be there, of course. I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it. Okay, real quick. Tell us the date again. Saturday, September 7th. Okay. At our Club Village parking lot from 9 to noon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for anybody who doesn't know, it's across the street from D Rose, right? Just come yeah. over that way, you'll find us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you so much for joining us, thank all you. of you. Thank you for having and me. And now, our Mindful Monday Moment. Welcome to your Be Well Moment presented by Burl Behavioral Health. Today's practice is focused on self compassion. We know that being human can be messy, beautiful, and stressful all at the same time. Giving ourselves compassion is vital to our well-being and takes practice. Pause and take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Start with acknowledgement and then validation. Something like, I want to be joyful and I am feeling so overwhelmed. And of course I am with everything happening right now. It is human to be two things at one time. You don't have to choose. 